Hey, hello, Dr. Barry. This is Sean Wade again from the Royal Commonwealth Society. And as you can see, I am wearing one of your wonderful sweaters. I did manage to make an extra large fit me. Um, and as you can see, it's not bad. It's kind of, uh, could be a bit better uh, in some ways. Uh, so maybe the double XL or the custom uh, one would be better. But this is something that I've come to like. And so thank you very much. Um, I've sold 15 out of the 20 sweaters or have options on them. So we've still got to unload another five, but we the sales are, are better than I thought they'd be. And you actually gave me ones that I hadn't actually ordered. So we're, we're, on, we're on target to make um, a decent target. I also saw that you sent me some pictures, as I asked you, of a prototype sweater, um, which is very, very nice. Um, there are a couple of things I wanted to change on that, if you don't mind. So I have a couple of my sweaters, um, but maybe, yeah, maybe we'll go to my sweaters first. Maybe we'll pause the recording now and I'll try on the first sweater. Hello, Dr. Barry, this is Sean Wade again. As you can see, I'm wearing one of my Cricut sweaters. And we do have a five button sweater here as you did for me, okay? So there's five buttons here. I've done, done, the, un, done the other button, I'm a little heavier than I used to be. One, two, three, four, five. Now, as you can see the gorge on this, where it, where it comes down, it comes down to the, I'm wearing a cravat, one of your lovely cravats. One, two, three, between the, between the one, two, three. Between the third and fourth button, is where the V or the gorge is on, on this particular model of sweater. And I think your sweater has five buttons, but the gorge apparently is up here somewhere, a little too high. So we need to move that down a little bit. Um, and now on, on me, well, third button, between the second, yeah, between the third and fourth button of a, of a shirt. So that, that might give you take one of your colleagues and from the shirt collar measure four buttons on a dress shirt down and that will probably give you an idea of where the gorge should fall where the v should come in um we've got piping on this we don't have piping on the sleeves so uh but that gives you an idea of how a five button sweater could work um my other sweater that i'll show you is a four button sweater although some of the buttons are missing as you'll see um, and that's actually one i'm used to wearing although my others i have another sweater like this it's also five buttons and um, I don't know that it has piping on the sleeves, but the um, well, for our purposes, I think we'll use the next sweater as well as a guide. So we can stop the recording now and I'll get my other sweater on. Thank you, Dr. Barry and Jimmy. Hello, Dr. Barry, I'm back. Yes, this is my favorite cricket sweater, one of my two favorite sweaters in the entire world that I own. Um, now the button at the top is is off, but as you can see, it's um it's a four button sweater, and it when it buttons up, uh, goes between first, second, third, between the fourth and fifth. When all the buttons are there, it's a four button sweater, as you can see, um, which is a little bit different than the five button sweater, um, but it it works. Um, and I just kind of I'm used to four. I didn't realize they were all five button because. Most of the time in my life, I wear this sweater. Uh, my, of, my, of my cricket cardigans, I tend to wear this, this one the most. And it is a four button sweater. And I was used to the four buttons, but having looked at a couple of my other cricket cardigans and every, most of the ones I've seen on the internet, they are indeed often made with five buttons. I personally don't mind between four or five. If we look at this sweater, if you can make the gorge go down uh, as I, I, I suggest, suggested between the third and fourth button, I'm happy with four buttons or five buttons. If, if, if not, make it a four button sweater if you can't make it with five. If, but the gorge has to be lower than on your sweater. I'm gonna do some measurements now. Uh, so maybe we'll uh, turn the recording off and then I'll take off the sweater and we can do some measurements. As you know, on the sweater you made, and now I don't have the prototype. If you've made the prototype in an extra large, I'd love to see it for my, I'd love you to send it along one day for my collection purposes, with our order or with the cap and the scarf, just because I'd like to see it. You used a very different and radical and very innovative strategy uh, for it. Very different than cricket cardigans that I've seen before. But again, looking on the internet, I did indeed see several that are done this way. 
Apparently the sleeves have the same, are the same as you did on our Cricut cardigan here, which are approximately, or from what I can see, two and a half inches. Now the cuffs are two and a half inches on the Cricut sweater here. And from what I can see on the Cricut cardigan, it appears that the stripe at the bottom of the cardigan on the Cricut cardigan is also uh, two, it's two and a half inches here. It is likely two and a half inches on the Cricut cardigan. Without having it here, I cannot measure it. Um, this, and there are others that I have found on the internet when buttoned. is about, about two inches across. You've made the, uh, I think two and a half inches across would probably be too big for those stripes. Uh, so what you've done is um, made a narrower stripe on our cardigan that you, again, I haven't seen, but I've just seen pictures of, uh, which is fine. And that's wonderful. Uh, but I think, it, I think the proportions with the big cuffs, which would probably work. The cuffs probably work if you want to keep them larger. But with the bottom uh, big stripe there, it's, it doesn't really look right. The bur there's one from Burberry I've seen. I've seen a couple that do that, and I, I, it's fine. I, it just looks funny to my eyes. Now, on this sweater that I love, as you know, more than almost anything in life I've ever had, um, we'll button it up with one of the buttons that actually works. The other two are in my drawer, and I dare say, I do need to sew them on. I probably should have done it for this video. Now measuring this across, okay? Now this is my sweater. It's about a little over an inch. So inch to inch, inch to inch to, yeah, you put it, if, if we do it here, I guess it's an inch, inch to about, about, about an inch and a half. The sleeves here are smaller than on your and they are also an inch and a half. Fine. The bottom is, mouths are wonderful things, aren't they, sir? An inch, sorry, an inch and a half. So I'm beginning to think that we should have the sleeves, the front, and the bottom about the same. So. Could you do them, I mean, an inch and a half, two inches, potato, potato. Could you do them the same size? So maybe you've got that thing down the front, inch, inch and a half, and then make the sleeves, uh, the cuffs, and the bottom part of the sweater, inch and a half, if that's possible. Make them roughly the same proportion. On this sweater, and you don't have to knock yourself out if you can't do it, they've got piping on the pockets, again, inch and, a, inch and a half. That might be too much to ask of you. I'm not asking you to do that. If you can do it at no extra cost and no trouble, great. If not, we're good with just this, this, and this. And I would suggest it be an inch and a half to two inches, narrower than what you've got. This on the bottom, is probably too big. Um, yeah, doing it, doing two and a half inches across the front is probably too big. Uh, so we probably do have to go with a smaller um, stripe across the, the, the front like you've done. And maybe the cuffs and the bottom bit of the cardigan will have to be the same as the piping in the front. We have a couple of example photographs. If you could please show me these, Jimmy. Jimmy is my videographer, Jimmy Ann, who does a great deal of work for me. Okay, so we have this cardigan here, which is very similar to, well, to, to this cardigan, I think as far as height. And this cardigan, I actually designed, it's almost exactly the same. As you can see, the, the pockets are there. There's no piping on the sides, on the bottom. And I guess I won't cry if you put if put on the pockets and not on the bottom, but the, the, the stripes on the, the front, the stripes on the cuffs, and 
well, there's no piping on the sides, but they've got the piping on the pockets. They're roughly the same. It's a five button cardigan, two, four, or five, yeah. The two buttons at the bottom are closer together. It's a higher gorge, uh, lower than your gorge, within the zone between the second and third button. It's close, right? We have another one. The next one, please, Jimmy. Yes, please. Now, this is a really good example. Again, there's nothing on the pockets. I don't even see pockets on there. And I don't see the cuffs. But as you can see, the uh, stripe that goes down the front of the sweater and the stripe that goes on the side of the sweater are roughly the same proportion. It's possible the stuff on the side of the bottom is a little bit bigger. That could be just a trick of the light. Um, but it's not radically different the way it is with, with the sweater you designed, which is exactly uh, the same proportion as we have on our uh, pullover sweater. I don't think we have any more examples. Uh, maybe the one above, the second one again. Yeah. Again, an example. It's a little higher, a little a lower than your gorge. Again, we have the double stripes here, the double stripes. I, I, I don't think that's as good an example as the one I've shown you. But as you can see, there's a rough proportion between the piping around the collar and down and the stuff on the bottom. So having something significantly larger at the bottom isn't done on the sweaters, uh, on some sweaters that are um, that have that piping on the bottom. So maybe you get the idea. I have, as I say, the inch and a half uh, model on this uh, sweater that I really like. You can make it two inches. You can make it two inches across. I don't think the difference between an inch and a half and, you know, if it makes it easier for you to do it two inches as opposed to an inch and a half, I'm fine with it. It might be a little nicer. You've done it two and a half inches here, which is probably a little too wide for the placket. But yeah, if you want to make it between an inch and a half and two inches, um, cuffs, front and bottom of the sweater, I think it's going to be a much uh, better proportionate sweater. Since we are ordering a fair number of them, like nine or 10, I'd like to see the first one that you make like that. Uh, and then we'll just we'll order it through um, because I don't want to order 10 sweaters that we don't like. I, I think that I just want to make sure that my eye is not giving me tricks. It looks like the examples I've shown you, probably that would be a little bit better. Um, and if you if you don't want this the example sweater that you made, if it's in my size, I'd love to see it because I'd like to add it to our collection. And if not, well, that's fine. But I hope that gives you some ideas. I'm looking forward to the um, uh, cricket cap. I guess maybe you'll send that with the order. And you are working on Mr. Andrew's uh, uh, scarf that he sent you. And I'm looking forward to that when it comes as well. Um, so thank you, Dr. Barry. Um, you're very wonderful. I really love what you're doing for our organization. Our, we're getting some very good rave reviews. And thank you so much. And I look forward to um, seeing the next design. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to have gone to that, um, but I, I hope you can make those changes and I, I think it'll be a beautiful sweater. Thank you very much.